I'm very excited. So today, I'm Catholic. I'm going to an Episcopal service. Um, I think it might be called Mass. Anyway, we'll see. Um, but I have decided I really want to be better at understanding different religious um, practices, groups, denominations in the U.S. And I know that a lot of people view the Episcopal Church as kind of like Catholic light. So I'm excited to see like a little bit more of what it's about, understand it. And I think it'll be really cool because when I, um, when I talk to people, I'll be able to understand a little bit more where they're coming from and what they believe. So I will report back. I'm really excited for this. Okay, so I'm back home from the service and I have a lot of thoughts. It was super cool. Oh wait, I'm gonna actually go get um, the bulletin that had all the, the spoken parts. So first of all, um, it was in a chapel and not the main church. And I was informed that there was like a, a high service earlier that's much more formal. So that's what I would assume to be closer to like a Catholic mass. Um, what I had was, or what I attended was about 20 people in this chapel in a, a circle of chairs. So it was a lot more like kind of conversational in a way. Um, so I went in and I checked in. I was like, hey, I'm not Episcopal. Is it okay if I still come? And the pastor, um, who was a woman, which is super cool, uh, was like, oh, me neither. I was like, oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't like, you would never have like a non-Catholic priest running a Catholic mass. So the first thing that I noticed, so I'll, I noticed a lot, I'll point out like the big things was so much of, um, I don't know if they call it the liturgy of the word, but like this first half of mass was super similar to um, or service, super similar to Catholic mass. We have like some opening prayer, um, what they called a gathering songs, so, like kind of I guess a processional song for Catholics. Um, uh, first, first reading from the Old Testament, a psalm. Um, second reading from the New Testament, gospel acclamation, Alleluia, the gospel. I did notice that the readings themselves were a lot longer. Like they, they took more verses than Catholics would. And another thing that I thought was interesting. Okay, I what my understanding is is that the readings are universal across the church each week. I'm not sure if that's true, but that was kind of the sense I was getting. Um, but I thought what was really cool is that two of the readings for um, the Episcopal Church today were the same as the Catholic Church. So the second reading from the letter of James um, and the Gospel according to Mark, the same chapters, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then instead of a homily, there is a community reflection. And this community reflection it was led by the pastor, but it was a lot of open-ended questions and talking. And I thought it was cool because I think a lot of times the homily is just kind of like something for someone to digest individually at a Catholic church, whereas this was everyone discussing like the readings from the day and the church in the context of modern culture and modern society. And it was a really cool broad view of it. Um, then we had very similar prayers of the faithful here, um, here are our prayer like this kind of call and response which I thought was cool the peace be with you was fun because we all like got up and and walked around and that was something that like I was familiar with but I didn't know that other people did also what I thought was really interesting is that some people were doing the sign of the cross some people weren't um, which I thought was like a very traditionally Catholic thing to do um, and also for um, the gospel like the you know that thing um some people did it some people didn't so i'm not sure if that's like different practices or if it's like something more traditional or not um the what catholic would call the consecration i'm not sure what episcopals called it but basically like turning the the bread and wine into jesus the words were so similar it was crazy like um like me let me see but anyway it was like the almost the same exact prayers that i heard in catholic church is kind of remixed and i think catholics are led to believe that that is super unique to the catholic church which in a way it is but it's crazy that these same prayers are used at other churches and i just like had no idea so that was super cool but something that was really different was that here oh my gosh wait my my pasta is boiling i'll be right back here everyone is encouraged to have communion um and it was it made very clear that like whoever you are if you come in once if you've come in a thousand times blah, blah blah you should come and share in it which is so different from the catholic church in which like they want you to be fully like catholic before you you share in communion so i thought that was really cool um yeah overall i had a great impression of of it i think it, i it showed how similar a lot of christianity is and i just like had no idea so that was really cool and now I want to decide I, I'd love to do this again and find a different church like 
I'm thinking Methodist just because I have some friends who are Methodist and I'd love to see more of kind of like what their family does every Sunday and kind of where they come from. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This was really cool.